small video. Now over the other side of the road there, there's a cream coloured terrace, couple of cottages. My sisters lived in one of those during the Second World War when they were evacuated. They lived for a while there. And they had a horrible time apparently. There's um, rubble over there, just over there, a lot of rubble. That was Somerset Bridge School. And I've been in that when it was still intact. It still had its lovely bell tower. It still had its original Victorian looking, or I don't know if they were Victorian, but their original school classrooms. And I've got images and pictures I took of the playground, everything there. Even video footage I've got of that place. I'll be walking past it in a minute. Might even, look, I don't even get in again. I might have a wander around the rubble again. Now this bridge coming up now, this is not the Somerset Bridge where the railway line goes over. I can remember when they were building this because over there where this used to be all the brickworks and all that behind this big fence here um, which we also used to play in as kids we'd walk out across Dunware pits and play in the brickworks. Now all behind there is like a huge area of warehouse and little industrial businesses and they built a, a link road across the river here to, so that they don't have to go for Bridgewater all the lorries vans I expect they still do but they've got an alternative way now to get to the motorway the river parrot looks very very disappeared we probably won't see it until I actually get um, over the Somerset Bridge, I won't be. I'm not. I'm not walking over this one unless I'm forced to. It is good to come out here. Now I used to do walks out here when I used to come and look after Daisy and Amber mainly. That was before Jack and Lucy came to live in Bridgewater. They don't live here anymore now. But um, I used to take them for walks up the river and sometimes we stop at the pub and have lemonade and crisps. <sighs> Where is it? I'm just pointing down, I just wait to go. Don't get anyone on the video. Morning. Hello, morning. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely taking pictures. I've got it. Yes, it's a good day for photography. But I haven't got you in the video, don't worry. No, I haven't. I pointed it down. It might have your feet in it. So, um, yeah, so I was repeating history like I did with my, with my, my dad did to me. And I would tell them stories about my dad and us walking here. So there's the bridge. <laughs> Glastonbury, 17 miles by bike. Yeah, you can do it. It's true. Yeah, here we are. You can go up there, or I'm going. I'm hoping to get on to, into the Somerset Bridge. So, I can, like I said, uh, that's another way to get into Bridgewater. So it's opened up a road. Um, like I said, the river. You can hardly see the river at the moment. I'm surprised they haven't been around to. Um, <coughs> Right, over and over. Do you should join with the other one. A couple of pictures in there. Drink up your cider. That's what me old man told me. That's what he said. It says in there. So here's it. From here is 17 miles to Glastonbury, one mile to Bridgewater, 13 miles to Taunton, but it's pointing the wrong way. Signs the wrong way round because you don't, unless you've got to go up somewhere up there I don't know I don't know Taunton's supposed to be this way so that's a bit of a trick isn't it someone's turned the signs around that would be very confusing for cyclists now I remember this bungalow all my life here people that lived right out here they had a lot of quiet in those days for example they didn't have that bridge It's only been here a couple of years. <coughs> the 
bridge bungalow, yeah, yeah. I remember that all my life, that little bungalow in there. Yeah, it's always been there. He, when my dad was here, some of the old brick wall still exists. It's like I said, there used to be a brickworks. This side and the other side with that big warehouse, that was all excavated at old brickworks there. I even got some photos of the old brickwork somewhere before they built that big monster on it. Um, I actually took images. Now this bridge is famous, Somerset Bridge, I'll tell you why. It was built and designed by Brunel for the railway. It's called the Somerset Bridge, made of iron. And like this little tunnel here, which we all used to run through and, and my grandchildren did. And here, if you go on this way, you can go to Western Island, you can go to Dunware Pits. Uh, that's a walk I haven't done for a while, but I'm not doing it today, because that's a completely different walk. So the idea today is not to do that. I'll come back another day and do that. I haven't done it for a long time. Same with the pub over there. I won't be doing that today. Short video. I don't even know if the last one came. I didn't. I don't know if it bleeped. Um, I just did a video, but I don't know whether it came out. So I walked under the tunnel and just sort of said about going to Dunware or going to Western Zorlian that way. How this bridge was built by, uh, designed and created by um, Brunel. It's all tied up with the railway, the Iron Bridge, the Somerset Bridge it's called. Still original. Always looks like it needs something doing to it like it's rusting away but that's why they built that as well but it only takes trains so it hasn't got the same use as a constant big lorries and cars going over it so like over there on that bridge there you see that's taken all the heavy loads now from the warehouses and the industrial areas um, like I said, the river looks very narrow. They haven't been up here for a while, I would have thought. This is where flooding gets created, by the way, because when they were dredging it and clearing the banks, um, the people of Somerset weren't getting flooded so much. So, I'm doing quite a good video, really. I'll tell you why, because I, I don't often come here anymore. Not like I used to, because um, no one lives here. My son Duncan lives here, but he did say once we could walk up to the pub. <laughs> yeah, it's just my son Duncan lives in Bridgewater now. My, all my daughters have moved out. Um, they all lived here. All my kids lived here once in Bridgewater. And one by one they've left. So I didn't stay very long, neither did Jolene, not really. Um, so that's it. But Duncan's got a good job, he's got somewhere to live, he seems alright, he'd like to come do his barbecues in the garden. Um, so that's one good thing about that. And there's the lovely little bungalow I was talking about that. It's been there all my life and it's retained part of the original brick wall. Just as, as a part of history, look. That used to be brick wall, brick wall all round there. And it was also the brickworks. And here, this was the brickworks behind where this is now. The excavated, and I've got it um, recorded. I've got it recorded as well from a few years ago. I came on purpose to take photos of what they excavated. I don't know if they even found Roman stuff. I've got a feeling they did. I think that was quite significant. But they, well, they cover it up again. So here we have now. We just go under this tunnel, once again, designed and created by Brunel. We just have a little video this side. You can, I think you can walk to the pub from here as well. You have to go across a railway line, <coughs> or you have to, or you have to do something. You have to negotiate something here. I can't remember what. But here's another view of the bridge in the tunnel. 
It's a shamer. It's a shamer. The train isn't coming over, isn't it, really? We can only just get under there, look. Can't have all, couldn't get old Britta through there. Right, over and out. Let me take a picture of this lovely bridge.